back to my channel. My name is Marissa from Envy's Creative Creations. Today's video is going to be my travel vlog. I actually um, when I've been on vacation and I've been back and forth since I've been on vacation so literally I've been gone for a little over a month however um, it's been exciting and I'm glad I get to check it off of my vision board that's been checked off already in 2019 that does not mean that i'm not going to continue to travel this year because most likely i am but um i wanted to just share with you so far where i've been and here is the infamous sail away party where everyone gathers at the top of the ship as we have left the port and just enjoys himself dancing or watching others dance having some drinks just relaxing it is vacation after all and here are my mother-in-law and my brother-in-law enjoying themselves as well just a quick glance at our room here we have, of course you have your bed but I want to show you this couch actually goes into another bed and it has additional storage down there and then of course vanity I love this vanity I love to get ready on there and then of course do have TV just in case you want to stay in and watch TV that was a choice for us sometimes at night just to just stay in and watch some TV and then um, you have a lot of storage down there as you can see of course the closet space like his and hers bathroom here and you see my husband's already getting organized mr organized and then this one did come with complimentary shampoo and body wash and i like that detachable shower head and of course you got your commode and then more towels um they give you fresh towels every day if you like what i like about this is more storage on the sink area for his and her side So we just got back to our room and look what we found, a crab. I love the touches that they do every time they make up the room. And this is outside our window. There are so many activities to do uh, at sea. This one's actually a, like a excursion seminar. And basically was just to kind of inform you, educate you on um, certain excursions that you can partake in throughout um, the different ports that you visit. And then, um, of course, they had, a, you're going to see here, my husband and I are partaking in a shopping um, seminar. All right, I will. Just until there, that's perfect. Not all the way, just put it until here. Perfect. What is your name, ma'am? Where are you from? Linda Give it up for Linda San Antonio. Linda, I want you to feel Abel's original shirt, the material of his original shirt. Now I want you to be able to touch this Gary Lawa bamboo shirt, and now you need to tell the, off, or the audience if you agree that it is twice as soft as cotton. But now you have to take full advantage because this shirt is still mine. I haven't given it to Abel as yet. So what I'm telling you is now's your opportunity to touch my shirt wherever you want to, Linda. Make sure, make 100% sure it's twice as soft as cotton. Jesus, Linda, let me help you, Linda. Linda, do you think it's twice as soft as cotton? Mm, yeah. <laughs> it's really soft. Linda says it's really soft. Linda, twice as soft as cotton? Yes. 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 You haven't felt enough yet. You don't want to make 100% sure. Yes. Linda says it's twice as soft as cotton. Give Abel a big round of applause. Oh. Oh. Only then? Six. We actually found ourselves partaking in several raffles and we're not sure exactly how we got into them. They offered us a ticket, we took it, and that is what you see here is um, us in this raffle. We are at the port now and actually this is before we head out to our excursion. We're just taking pictures with these uh, little Mayan guys, um, you know, being silly, enjoying ourselves. 
um, and just, you know, kind of admiring the culture, basically. As we're waiting for our excursion to start, we're just admiring the water, the trees, and this port is gorgeous. Um, just the ships together, I was in all. Of course, we had our ship and all the other ones that kind of just port there at Consumel. And, you know, if you wanted to just start being a beach bum, you had the right to do so. Look at that water. It's just amazingly gorgeous. Um, you see all the others going out to the excursion, and it's just a beautiful and peaceful sight to see. So we finally made it to our excursion destination, and this excursion was the tequila tacos and shopping and we actually got to see a performance as what you see going on here uh, the Flocorico gave an outstanding performance <laughs> And then part of the performance, we also got to listen to some mariachis, as you see here. tacos and tequila we stopped to take a look at this gorgeous view during our shopping spree I think I spotted a pirate ship throughout the visit so I had to take a closer look and see for myself and then just me and hubby posting for more pics and I actually thought this was pretty cool it's where you just go underwater and play games Here are just more pictures from the port and actually just us enjoying ourselves and being goofy. So these guns are actually not so light like I thought they were and I had a hard time holding them up. But yeah, that pretty much concludes our first day. So here is our next destination which is Progreso, Mexico or better known as Yucatan. Um, very famous for where the Mayan ruins are at. 
the name of these Mayan ruins are called Zibla Shantun, as you see in that sign. And then it just gives a little background of the importance of these ruins. And then here I'm just enjoying the landscaping. It's just so serene. Here we are at the museum. We finally made it. Um, there is actually a path of a lot more history only. Um, there is no filming or pictures allowed just because it's so sacred. But as you can see here, this is actually very lovely. A lot of the artifacts that are held in this museum that just make the history very surreal when you're actually looking at them in person. So as we go in through here, we're actually um, see a little bit more of history, but a little bit more in the sense of when the conquistadores came in and took over. You'll see a little bit more of the religion that they brought, the Catholic religion. Um, of course, you have the book. Here you're going to see more a little bit of mix of the Mayan and the Spanish, but here you just see a lot of the Spanish style. Of course, um, it's really instilled the religion. And of course here you see a lot of the clay pots that they, the Mayans would make. And here we have our very old uh, cannonball. And then of course the crosses. Religion was very important to the conquistadores and instilling it into the Mayans and of course just the swords, you know, everything, all this history is very, very intriguing. On our way to the cenote, I saw this little hut thought it was really cute and had to, you know, of course, film it. On our way to the sea note that we came across the Oni Standing Pyramid. And then here is actually a ceremonial center, which is actually known for here in Yucatan. And then here you're going to see a lot of buildings. Um, you see the arches at the top. This is not Mayan, actually. It is the Conquistadores. Um, of course, again, with the religion, I believe this was actually a church. And then again, you just see um, the entire courtyard that used to lay here and now is just um, pretty much gone. This was actually the highlight of the entire excursion was the cenote. Uh, the water is just absolutely gorgeous, but at the end of the day, after a hot walk, it was so refreshing to actually get here and enjoy the water. After our refreshing swim, we actually climbed up the pyramid to help us dry off, but we wanted to see the view from atop, and this is what it looked like. This is actually that standing church we saw earlier and that's what it looks like from the side and this is the inside of it. And here we are back trying to get into our ship and sail away but look at that sun set. Isn't it gorgeous? So this is our last night on the ship. We just enjoyed a nice dinner together and celebrated my brother-in-law's birthday. 
I really hope you guys enjoyed this travel vlog and if you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and before you leave, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for uploads. Bye!